All right, advanced R pack, you made it to the black triangle video for A2. Okay, so you learned blue triangle. Got to play it two times. You learn the square. You put blue triangle, blue triangle, and square together, and now you're here to learn black triangle. Okay, this is actually the shortest part of A2. And the reason why it's still a triangle is because it's kind of similar to, hmm, excuse me, to blue triangle, okay? So let me just get you going here. We're gonna start, I want you to think, what was the beginning of blue triangle? What note did we start on first? One on our A string, right? Okay, so that's exactly how we're gonna start. I'm gonna put my violin up here on my violin shelf. I'm gonna find my A string and bloop, plop one finger down, okay? We're gonna go one on A, open D, three on D, open A. That should sound pretty familiar, right? Yeah, your brain is like, I already know how to play those four notes, Miss Maddie. Let's do it again together. Here we go, one on A, open D, three on D, open A. And here's how it sounds without me talking to you. Okay, and then you're gonna play those four notes again. Okay, so you're gonna play that total of two times. One, D, three, zero, one, D, three, A. Okay, here's how it goes. Pretty much like blue triangle, right? Yeah, exactly. So those first two chunks are just like a blue triangle. Here's why it's called a black triangle now. This is where it's going to be different, okay? So we're gonna go to our A string and put our first finger down, three fingers, low two, one, open A, and I'm gonna stop you there. I know we've been doing four note chunks, but we're gonna do a five note chunk here, okay? So you're gonna go one on A, three on A, low two, one, open A. Okay, let's do it again. And here's the reason why I stopped you at that A, because after that A, you're gonna jump over to your D string and put three fingers down. Three fingers on your D string, okay? So this is, the, the rest of the song is going to be like the beginner G major scale going down, okay? So we're gonna start with three fingers on our D string. And since we're going down, we're gonna lift. Three on G. Okay, again, we're gonna start with three fingers on our D string. I want you to notice on my D and my G string, I'm using a regular two, a high two. I'm not using a low two. Okay, so watch here, ready? And once you play that open G, that's it. That's the end of A2. So let's go all the way back to the beginning of black triangle, okay? You really have to think when you're doing this because I bet you anything, when you get to the different part of black triangle, your brain was like, oh, I wanna play blue triangle because it's so similar, right? Our brains like patterns and there's a pattern that followed and your brain was like, I wanna do that one again. But no, this one's different. Okay, so let's go all the way back to the beginning of black triangle, it was like blue triangle. Here we go, nice and slow. And this time, if you want to point in your music as I play each note, do that. Or you can play pizzicato with me. Here we go. Black triangle, the very beginning. The whole thing, actually. Here we go. One, two, uh, nice and slow. And that's it. 
So here would be my recommendation. Pause the video, go back. Really work on black triangle until you know you know it, okay? And then go back again, play square, black triangle, okay? And then go back again, do one blue triangle, square, black triangle, okay? And then go all the way back to the beginning, okay? That's what I would do. And actually, in fact, let's do that together right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do it with my bow. You may do it pizzicato, okay? Totally up to you. So I'm gonna just play black triangle, nice and slow, and then square black triangle, blue triangle, square, black triangle, blue triangle, blue triangle, square, black triangle, okay? Here we go. So here's just black triangle. One, two, uh, nice and slow. Okay, how'd you do? Maybe you did yours pizzicato, that's fine. Maybe you poke all of your notes and your music as I play. That's totally fine. Now I'm going to play square and black triangle. Okay, so here's square and black triangle. Okay, now we're gonna add one blue triangle before the square. Okay, so let me find my spot in my music. Here we go. Here's one, one blue square or blue triangle followed by square and then black triangle. Here we go. One, two, uh, nice and slow. <laughs> triangles, a square, and a black triangle. We're going to still do it slow. We'll do it slow one time through, and then I'm going to play it one more time at a little bit of a uh, faster speed so you can get uh, used to playing it a little faster, okay? Here we go. This is the very beginning. This is the entire etude. Two blue triangles, a square, and a black triangle. Here we go. Ready? One, two, uh, nice and slow. <laughs> Thank you. 
there you have it. That is the whole etude song, okay? I'm gonna play it one more time. I'm gonna play it just a teensy bit faster. In this faster part, I want you to point in your music and see if you can keep up with the notes, okay? It's kind of like a tongue twister, but with your fingers, okay? And if you feel like you want to try doing it faster with me and do pizzicato, go for it, okay? So here we go. This is the last time I'm going to play etude. We're going to go a little faster this time. Here we go. One, two, oh, ready, go. <laughs> There you go. And maybe you're super awesome and you're like, I could play that faster than Miss Maddie. Then go for it. Record yourself. I wanna see how good you can do it. Now, faster doesn't always mean better, okay? If you play faster, you still have to play the right notes at the right time, okay? It's not really a speed competition. It looks really cool and flashy, you can show off, but master it slow. Then go a little faster and then go a little faster. And then maybe you want to go back and add the doubles like I mentioned in the other video, okay? So if you are needing some help, message me on Class Dojo, make an appointment so I can see you during my office hours. Otherwise, keep working at it. I bet you're almost there at learning how to play etude, okay? All right, have fun.